What's up, you guys? What's up, Divas? What's up, Devos? What's up, everybody? What's up, fam? What's up, YouTube fam? How's everybody doing today? Okay. So who's in the mood for some inexpensive, budget-friendly, affordable, inexpensive hair? This one right here, I worked with them before, but I'm going to just give y'all the deets on this, rig, this wig real quick because, baby, let me tell y'all. So... I know, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all real quick. First of all, this wig is from Miss Lynn. It is a 360 lace wig, okay? 360 lace frontal. And it is a water wave pattern, texture, whatever you want to call it, baby. Now, first of all, when I bleach the unit, normally it takes like an hour to maybe even an hour and a half. I've seen units take that length of time to bleach. I use 30 developers, so it shouldn't take that long. You know what I'm saying? Girl, honey child, I think this thing was on there for like at least two and a half, almost three hours to bleach. And I was just sitting there like, okay, any day now, any day now. This was the only wig that I had to bleach that day, but I used the same steps as normal. Now, I did have to pre-pluck the hairline because it just didn't look natural to me. It did just it just didn't, okay? But that's sometimes what you got to do with the cheaper lace front wigs. But as long as you got a good steady hand of pre-plucking, you watch some YouTube videos, you might have damaged a couple of pre-plucked wigs in the in the prior interims of doing another one, then girl, you might be good cuz trust me when I tell you I have over pre-plucked, under pre-plucked, just didn't give a f okay about plucking okay and it takes some time and it does take some learning but once you find a skill and, and and you can grasp it then you're good to go so i did have to pre-pluck it now as for the lace well i'm gonna just leave everything in the description box below because you know i just cannot remember everything nor did i sew an elastic band in this however they do send you with um one if you choose to use it which i didn't okay i just didn't yeah so if you want to glue this bad boy down on the sides and the nape of your neck you can do so or if you just want to have it looking good or up in the ponytail you can do so with this with a 360 okay honey honey boo okay all right okay okay
Hey guys, hey guys. So as you guys see, I am flipping up the lace right here just to get it out of the way because I'm going to be using my Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray to adhere this unit. So I normally put two to three coats on and I do allow each coat to get tacky, a tacky feel prior to spraying on the next coat. Now let me just tell y'all, this hairspray is really good. It's affordable, it's about $4 at Walmart or anywhere basically you can get it on amazon for like three cans okay and on top of that it does do a really good hold so it does dry super quick and it gets awful tacky not awful as in bad but quickly tacky okay so just go ahead and get that hairspray if you want to try something more affordable that will hold i love this been using it for years now what I do is I just take the, the lace and just press it down with my bare fingertips but I also will be using the tail end of my rat tail comb just to press the lace further into my skin. This will help avoid stickiness onto my fingertips but it will also get into the small areas where my fingers just cannot reach or just overlap. So as you guys see, I'm just taking the tail end of the comb and just tacking it down and I'm going to take the hairspray and also spray it on the tip of my comb, the tail part, and just slip the comb underneath in the areas where I didn't catch on to the hairspray. You can also spray the tail tent. You can also spray the tail end of the comb and tip that onto the top of the lace. This will also help the lace. What I've noticed over time is some lace will have a white like filmy residue especially if you use a blow dryer to dry the product so i try to just let it air dry most of the time and just keep pressing into it that's why it's really important to allow the hairspray to get tacky prior to pushing the lace onto your skin now this is just an optional step and this is just for me to create my sideburns and baby hairs which i will be doing here Sometimes with certain laces, you may need to just camouflage a tad bit. With this one, there is a trick to every lace that you adhere. And what I've noticed over time is, like I stated, sometimes some of them get a white residue if you will add heat to blow dry the product. So, like I stated, you can spray a little bit of hairspray on the comb and just place that on top of the lace and tack it down. Or you can spray underneath with the comb. Either way, try to allow it to air dry. I always feel like that's the best method, but there are laces that are much thicker and you'll definitely need a blow dryer, unfortunately. But this one right here from Miss Lynn's was pretty decent. Now I don't really care for long baby hairs, not too much. So I try to make them look as natural as possible because you know, my own natural baby hairs are short. Now as for the sideburn hair girls, well, you know, hey, I like them a little long. I'm going to be using my Got To Be Fantastic Styling Mousse. Now granted, this stuff is not available anymore. I purchased so many cans of this from the Dollar Tree a few years back that I have probably like two cans left. So I'm going to be using it as sparingly as possible. And, you know, I just want to use up all my hair products that I have because I have a lot of them. And like I was saying, the lace on this is not bad at all. It is an HD lace as stated on the website and it's not bad at all. It's very meltable as long as you have like, you know, patience and if you could allow the product to dry tacky at first. Now my head is a little bit red in that area because girl, I have to edit that part out. I was sculpted for a minute. I, I just try to get it perfect as possible. But once I'm done sculpting the hairs, I do place an elastic band around the front hairline just so the product can dry and then I can go ahead and style the hair. This is some really nice loose wavy hair water wave, very silky in texture. I'm going to be using the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. I purchased this from Amazon. It will help your hair detangle. It will help it keep it frizzless so it won't get frizzy and it will also keep it moisturized. And I also use this on my natural hair. So that's what it was really purchased for was my own natural hair, along with this product right here, which is the Strictly Curls Curl Enhancing Styling 
Balm, which is also kind of like a mousse, a styling mousse by Mark Anthony. I do really like this. I use this in my own natural hair. But the reason why I really like this product is because it doesn't get wet like regular styling mousse does. You know how with regular styling mousse, the foam will disappear after a few minutes or, or seconds and it'll start becoming a watery substance. This foam does not do that, girl, okay? This can sit on top of your head for a minute, but it also helps enhance your curls and it also keeps your hair frizz free, which I really do like. I love this product for my natural hair and it seems to work pretty well along with the waves in this unit also. Very nice density, very full, 360. You can put this in an updo, ponytail, as you could with any wig as well. But if you do like the options of gluing it down in the back area, then you can do that right here with this 360 unit. And I'm just gonna perfect these little baby hairs and we done, girl. So let's really talk about this wig. So for one, it is wavy. It's a loose like water wave. So it's the waves are not supposed to be that deep, hun. Um, as for the lace, so there's always a trick to something, right? So y'all seen how I started spraying the hairspray on the comb and placing it in areas that were not kind of like sticking down. I would place it and then I would just go in with the tip of the comb and just tack it down. This makes it a lot easier. Also, it will also help with the white residue because sometimes I notice with any hairspray, it doesn't have to be this one, it could be any of them. When you like overheat it too much, it gets like this white residue. So I prefer to kind of like let it air dry. So that's why it's really important to get a good hairspray that'll get really really tacky like girl listen some lace is better than some some lace you definitely have to use the blow dryer to dry and this was almost one of those but I had to just like take my time and apply it so because it's a 360 lace it didn't fit like right where my ears was at so I had to kind of like push the wig back a little bit past my um, corner of my temple right there and just kind of like wing it with the hairs my take on the lace is the lace is decent. It's not like, oh girl, I can't even tell. It's not one of those. You definitely, um, you'll notice it if you don't apply it right. Like I was saying, you have to use the tail tip of the comb and press into the lace when it's tacky so that way you don't get the grid appearance and that white residue appearance. My favorite thing to apply a wig is hairspray because it's an easy cleanup process. It's not glued down. It's just a lot easier. That's my opinion. The curls is shit popping, so okay. The volume is decent. The density is decent, you know, and the waves you know you just gotta if you want them even deeper girl get you a curling wand and do that okay but it's pretty decent um this is batty budget hair if you know how to tame a wig pluck a wig bleach a wig um and apply it with no issues and sometimes some issues then girl this is definitely for you if you're a newbie Make sure you watch some tutorials. Sometimes even newbies need cheaper wigs too, so that way they can practice on them. Because who the heck wants to mess up a real expensive wig, girl? Okay, so budget hair, boo, budget hair, Miss Lynn. Um, I will say their lace has gotten a lot better, as well as their hair texture quality. You know, I've worked with them for a few years, so I will just be honest and say they their wigs did get a lot better from when I very first started working with them, which was probably like four years ago. But for the most part, you know, it's a decent, affordable wig, especially if you just want to add one to the collection or also if you want a budget. So there you have it, baby. Aha. I will see y'all in the next one. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Um, you know, share it. Do your girl a favor and share the damn video. All the info will be down below. I got to go. See y'all in another video. Hold it down for the nameless, yeah